with your help, I intend to seek a third and final term as the mayor of Indianapolis. Well, the other major election related news came from the city of Indianapolis. Mayor Joe Hogsett has announced that he is seeking a third term in office. The mayor made that announcement downtown surrounded by his supporters. CBS 4's Eric Graves was there for this announcement. He explains exactly what the mayor says he wants to do in another term. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett announced his bid for a final term as mayor here in the city market, a place he says will be the center of a revitalization of downtown, one of several plans he outlined for a possible third term. Mayor Joe Hogsett says he will seek a third and final term as Indianapolis mayor in 2023. All I can see as I stand here tonight is tomorrow. Hogsett addressed a room full of supporters at the Indianapolis City Market. He acknowledged the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the last few years, killing Hoosiers and slowing the progress of Indy, but talked about how the city has recovered. Over the last four years, we solved the $50 million deficit while passing every budget with broad bipartisan support. Hogshead's term was also impacted by other major events. In 2020, protests and riots took over downtown Indy. There's also been a climb in yearly homicides, with 2021 breaking the all-time record with 271. That includes the mass shooting at the FedEx facility in Indy. As part of his plan for the future, Hogshead talked about the three-year, $150 million anti-violence plan. In the first year of our violence reduction plan, we've already observed a 15% decrease in the number of criminal homicides and a 14% decrease in non-fatal shootings. He also talked about transforming downtown Indy, starting with the city market and going out. Where we gather tonight will soon be the most intensive residential district in the entire state. Hogsett did tease a new plan in the coming months for the Circle Center Mall, calling it innovative. The only details he gave, though, were that it would be in partnership with state officials and honor the legacies of Herb and Mel Simon. Reporting in downtown, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. Eric, thank you. The mayor will have competition for the Democratic nomination. Last week, State Representative Robin Shackelford announced she's also running for mayor. She sent us a statement reacting to Hogsett's announcement, saying in part, quote, I am the right person to address the issues facing Indianapolis that have not been solved in the past eight years. I look forward to hearing from the citizens of Indianapolis about their biggest concerns and their ideas in the months leading to the primary. I will be releasing specific policy proposals in the near future. The Indianapolis Republican Party also reacted to the news Hogsett would seek a third term, saying in part, two terms of Joe Hogsett as mayor of Indianapolis have delivered year after year of record violence and homicides, crumbling infrastructure, a failing downtown, undelivered public services, and struggling neighborhoods. Over the next year, residents of our capital city have to decide if the status quo of crime, crumbling streets, and inequity is acceptable or if they want a new direction.